Hey guys! So first of all, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing such a crappy wig right now that I haven't messed with since Halloween. And it's because my phone, whenever I upload videos to Face, Facebook, YouTube, it goes and picks the thumbnail for me. And under my hair is a little, under my fake hair, it's a little surprise. So I didn't even try to put this on too good. But I wanted to wait to show you guys the surprise until later. Uh, probably about a minute into the video. But hopefully it'll pick the thumbnail to be this. If not, then this was a waste of time. Like you can just see how awful I did that. Didn't even try to fix the bangs or nothing. Look at that. Alright, so if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I lightened my hair to be able to do something. Now, what that something is, you'll find out in a little bit. But I was going to do a product review on that and the new brand of hair dye I used, which I'm not turning it around to show you the actual name, because then it reveals what color my hair is. Ah, my tattoo hurts. But, um, anyways... The brand, I had it on my hair for about maybe 10 minutes, and I probably should have took it off that t after 10 minutes, instead of waiting 30 like I did, but my hair's not that bad, I trimmed it up. But, within 10 minutes, it got whatever it could lift, lifted, like, that. And I can't find the box to save my life, I swear to God, I left it sitting over there on my counter, so I could have it for this video, and no. Like, okay, this, this is like the struggle of my real hair when I try to do little bangs like this but anyways and I can't find it so I got all this stuff I got I got at Hot Topic and I know some people are gonna be like but no like it was a really good product I hope no one walks by and sees me doing this but anyways it was Manic Panics Flash Lightning and that stuff worked really good it didn't really do any damage to my hair other than you know a few split ends and my layers so I just kind of relayered my hair. I still have the same length. And then the brand of hair dye I decided to use was Arctic Fox. And I'm happy they had it there. You done saw a little bit sneaky bit of the color but you can wait a few more seconds. Um, I wanted to use it because I wanted to do something before I went back to my red and black and I wanted to do blue but my fiance wanted to see me with, like a pastel color and I told him I would try, but I also told him there is like a 99.99% chance that I ain't getting pastels in my hair. Because I'd have to get my hair really light to do that, and then all the work it takes into doing that, I just didn't have the time, nor could I get my hair that light. So I grabbed Arctic Fox, and the color I got is Virgin Pink. And this is my unopened bottle. But you think it'd be like that light pink? It's darker in the bottle, and it came out darker, so let's just get ready for this. I'm going to step off to the side and then come back. So, I'll just pause. I'll be back in a second. Let's let's end this little pause in like a Tumblr girl. This lipstick is not cooperating in like a Tumblr girl pose, like. And this is what it came out to be. I have mixed feelings, but I'm not sure. I definitely want to try Arctic Fox Black, the, like their black dye, when I go back to my red and black, but I'm not, I don't know. This is the color. I really like it because it is, let me read it to you. It's against animal cruelty, so it's 100% cruelty free. That's another reason I wanted to try it. And then right here it says 15% of profit donated to help save animals. Uh, da da da. Oh, I didn't even read the directions. Um, at the top it says no peroxide, no ammonia, no ethanol, no PPD, uh, vibrant colors with added conditioner, which I like. And then it's vegan, not tested on animals. So I, I mean, I've had pink before, but it's never came out like this. And if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can, I've missed some of my roots. Like bleaching and then coloring, I've probably missed some spots. And I'm not sure if I can find it. I got this one little strand that wouldn't lighten. So I still got some brown in there. That's not too bad. And some people are probably going to be like, well, what about your job? They can't say nothing to me because, first of all, we're allowed to color our hair. Second of all, there's a lady there who has bright pink hair. So 
They can't say nothing. Like, the more I look at it, the more I like it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to go directly back to my red and black or if I'm going to try blue. We'll just see how it goes. Let's see if there's anything else I need to... Uh, how long did... I left this in my hair for about 30 minutes. So. Not bad. And my shade bit was starting to get on my nerves, but I think now that it's kind of with all my colors, it's good. I'll show you the back. I tried layering my back myself. Not sure how well that turned out. <laughs> Um, this doesn't, okay, I've used Splat, I've used Manic Panic, I've used Beyond the Zone and all this other stuff. And certain brands, they bleed the moment they hit water. What am I touching? And where did this earring come from? But certain colors bleed the moment you put them in water. This here, I notice, doesn't bleed until you start to shampoo and condition it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it didn't bleed, I'm using... Uh, so back, a while back, I'm not sure if I told you guys, I started using Argonal Shampoo and Conditioner, and it was amazing. I ran out of it, and I was very low on cash, so I just got the cheapest stuff, which was Suave. And, you know, I hate using products and wasting them, but, like, I've got two boxes of brown hair dye back there, and I'm kind of just, like, probably going to give them away to someone or something. I use the gloves in them, if that counts. But, anyways, I hate getting products and wasting them. But the Suave shampoo just, I could feel where it was drying out my hair and stuff. So before I did any of this, I went to my job and I bought, they, I was going to get Argonal, but they had like Argonal conditioner this, like shampoo this big, and then the only thing they had in stock was the mini thing of conditioner. I was like, I'm not doing that. So I'm trying the coconut milk one now. It seems rather, rather nice. Just... So yes, my hair. But this product worked out really good. This is more of a rambling video than anything else. My hair doesn't look that bad. I mean, y'all can see it. Uh, it feels pretty nice. I also deep conditioned it. I used Ozzy's 3 Minute Miracle Moist. Like, the more I look at it, the more I'm liking it. But, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. Eventually, I'm going back to my red and black. Because I miss that deeply. Let's make sure there's nothing else I need to tell you guys about this product. Keep out of reach of children. For external use of... I'm going to try to use hair dye for internal use. Actually, no, don't answer that because there's probably some people out there that will. I'm looking fabulous right now. Like, at this distance. I'm going to have to, like, just pause the video and take a screenshot of this like I normally have to do because there's some stuff during my videos I just look oh, so good and then I just I can't get the photo because I can't set a timer on this phone I don't know how if anyone owns an Android Galaxy S4 inform me if there's a way to set a timer on this stuff I would really appreciate it alright I use hair curler only as directed wear protective gloves for application do not use this product if scalp is irritated or injured, this product must be used on, wait, must not be used on eyelashes, eyebrow, mustache, aw. I don't ask my dad if I could dye his mustache. He, he said no, but still. Uh, mustache, beard, or facial hair, as it may cause blindness. Well then. I'm not seeing any. What is this? What is this? But they put a sticker back on top of the original barcode. Is it even the same numbers? No. Okay. See, look, like. I didn't notice that before. See, like. That I could get a photo of. Just so fab. Well, can't wait for that to grow out more. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, well, where's my headband? I'll show you guys what it looks like if I put it back like you normally see me do with my hair. So, first I brush it back. Because my roots are a lot brighter in the front. Like, 
Okay, so there's some roots I didn't get in the back. So I still have, like, my brown roots, but... Or black, technically. But that's okay. And... See, this this is the part that makes me, like, uh, I'm not so short about it. Because I want my hair to look good down with my bangs, and then good if I pull it back. So, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, tell me your thoughts, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, name if there's a product you want me to test out, like a hair care product or something, or anything really that isn't going to break the bank as of right now, because I don't have a lot of money. This is a long ass video, I'm sorry. But thank you if you watched all the way through, I appreciate it. Bye.